The cruelest dream is reality. It sucks. Yes, it is. Especially when you felt na no one is there to support your dreams. So what to do nga ba if others don't support your dreams? Time to reflect. Is there a point in your life na you have a dream but your loved ones like your family and friends are not there to support you? Do you have uh, a battle in life before na when you struggle, no one is there behind you para i-cheer ka and you felt alone all throughout the process? If the answer is yes to that question, well, this vlog is made just right for you. What's up? What's up? Sa mga kajelozang na huh? dyan, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, ibahin natin yung approach. So for today, ang strategy natin is for me to share with you a famous story na pinapamagatan or the title is The Bucket of Crabs. Bucket nga ba? Yung Bucket of Crabs, sabihin na natin si Mr. Crabman who goes out of his house every day to catch yung mga crabs. And then yung crabs na yun na nahuhuli niya, dinadala niya sa shore and then from there, binibenta niya doon sa mga tao doon. And then one day, itong si Mr. Crabman, after niya manghuli ng mga crabs, pagdating niya sa shore, one kid approached him and asked him a curiosity question. Sabi ng bata, Mr. Crabman, hindi ka ba natatakot na sa dami ng nahuhuli mong crabs at iisa lang yung nalagyan mo at mag-isa ka lang ng nahuhuli? Eh, maubo sila pagdating mo dito? Kaya mo ba silang bantayan isa-isa? Then, Mr. Crabman smiled and replied to the kid, Alam mo, ang mas kinakatakot ko is that when I only catch a single crab, but when I do have two or more crabs in my bucket, that's the time na yung worry is nawawala. What you are thinking right now is correct. That's the nature of the crab. Pag two or more sila na nasa loob ng bucket, naghihilahan na sila pababa. And that is very relevant to my topic right now, which is what to do nga ba if others don't support your dreams? First things first, accept the reality. Acceptance is the key here, mga jello zone. Yes, it's true. This is your dream. This is your goal. So learn to own it. If there will be a person who will grind for it, it's not them. It's not your family members. It's not your friend. It's always na ikaw lang. At the end of the day, this is about you. This is your dream. This is your goal. Achieve it, no matter what. Second point, don't argue with other people about your dreams. It will be pointless. Super sayang sa effort. But instead, what you need to do is for you to work silently. Pakita mo kung gano'ng kapasyonate para ma-achieve mo yung mga goals mo in life, yung mga dreams mo, until it came to a point na ma-realize ng tao sa paligid mo. Uy, bakit niya kaya gustong ma-achieve yung mga dreams na yon? Bakit yun yung path na tinate niya para ma-achieve yung goals niya in life? The third point that we have for this matter is that don't drag others to support your dreams. Actually, a typical reason on why others don't support you is that yung tinatawag natin na fear of the unknown. They don't know what you are doing. Clueless, they have no idea on what you are trying to achieve. At yung fear of the unknown na yun, that's giving them yung defense mechanism not to support your dreams. And then aside dun sa fear of the unknown natin, may tinatawag tayo na fear of losing you during the process. So, just to give you a brief background, no? Kunwari ako, accountancy talaga yung gusto kong course for my college. And then my dad is, a, is an engineering graduate. So parang na-foresee niya, ah, dapat yung anak ko maging engineer din. So yung parents natin, minsan tatakot sila na, ay, magkaiba yung background namin ng anak ko. Like, may mga ganun, di ba, na pinipilit nila doon sa anak nila na, oh, itong kukunin mo for college. But for that one, don't fall for that, guys. Instead, talk to your uh, parents, to your mom or dad, and then let them know kung bakit, ano yung gusto nyong maging in the future. At the end of the day, kayo yung mag-aaral, kayo yung mag-a-achieve, kayo yung mag-e-exam. Ang pangit naman na kukunin mo yung course dahil gusto ng mom and dad mo para sa'yo. Hindi ka magiging happy and for sure, once na you graduated, baka nga hindi ka pag-graduate dahil hindi naman nandun yung puso mo, eh for sure, kukunin mo rin yung second degree mo dun sa base kung ano talaga yung like mo or yung napupusuan mo in the first place pa lang. The fourth item is that don't seek validation from others. But instead, earn their respect and support in a natural way. Everybody around us 
have their own point of views. So, hindi mo dapat i-expect na kung ano yung nakikita mo na dapat na maging dream ng isang tao. This is my dream. Dapat ganito din yung dreams nila. That will never be the case in the actual scenario. Just to give you na lang a basic example. When I start blogging, hindi ko na sinik yung validation from my mom, from my sister, from my fiancé, from my friends, from my colleagues na start ko na yung aking YouTube channel. So, wala akong pake. Even though they throw comments, sabihin natin anonymously na, hindi ka naman sikat ha, bakit ka magbablog? Wala naman kaming pake sa nararamdaman mo, bakit ka magbablog? So, I don't care. Because right now, my only goal is to touch other people's lives and to share my ideas with them. And because of that, alam ko na kung ano yung goal ko and then yung mga steps on how to do it or how to achieve it will only follow. Sabi nga doon sa startup na series K-drama na if you only know kung ano yung goal mo on why you are doing it, then other things will just follow. So for now, tulitoy lang tayo sa pagbablog at tulitoy lang tayo mag-share ng ideas natin with the public. All the baby steps that you have, you just need to do it consistently and always remember na it is not anyone's job to support your dream. Ang masakit nito, even your family, your mother, your father, brother, sister, it is not their job to support your dream. It sucks talaga. It's the reality. Reality bites, yes. It is only your job to grind for it and make sure na whatever dream you have in your life, there's a way for you to achieve it, but not them. Remember, Always remember that, 100%. The number five point that we have here is that don't make other people understand you through words. Sabi nga nila, mas ipakita mo through actions. And it's true, yung kasabihan natin na action speaks louder than words, hindi tayo nasa chika mimi. Kaya kahit anong sabi mo dyan, kahit anong satsat mo dyan, kung hindi nila nakikita yung action from your end, puro ka lang salita about your dreams, then... Hindi natin makukuha naturally yung support nila sa ating mga goals in life. The next item is of course, believe in yourself. Wala nang ibang tao na i-expect kayong magtiwala sa inyo, kundi in the first place it should be you and not them. Ang isipin mo na lang, why are you doing this? And then from there, tsaka siguro dadami yung trust when they are seeing na you are worthy enough for that matter. And then the last point that I have for you guys is to know the difference between the criticism and bashing. So kung titignan natin or kung iisipin natin na thoroughly understand it, parang parehas lang naman yung dalawa. But basically, there's a large difference as to its definition which depends on the intention of the people. Yung criticism is binibigay sa'yo ng mga tao sa paligid mo for you to improve. Yes, uh, most of the time it is a negative comment. But basically, that negative comment, it is something that you can turn on na maging strength mo in the future state. Whereas yung bashing, yun naman yung parang puro negative lang, mema, kung sabi nga natin, mema sabi lang. Ano yung sample? For example, nagbablog ako right now and then there will be people out there na sabihin, uy, ang pangit mo naman. So ako, who cares? Paki mo kung pangit ako. So that's bashing. Pero kunyari naman, may mga tao dyan na nagkakamali ako sa English which is, Siyempre, isushoot mo to, no? And then, there will be times talaga na hindi na natin na-edit. So, meaning, uy, mali yung, ano mo, yung grammar mo, yung, yung grammatical incorrect ka. So, gusto nilang maitama mo yun in the future videos mo. So, that's criticisms. So, nakita nyo yung difference between the two. It will be very crucial for a person to identify kung ano yung criticisms as compared to bashing. So, I hope, guys, that you learned something from me today. Um, I just would like to say na everyone has their own unique vision of success and your mission is how to make yours happen. So if you love our content, don't forget to hit like and subscribe button and of course you can also hit the notification bell in case na may bago kong post para ma-notify kayo automatically. So maraming maraming salamat, see you sa may upcoming vlogs and hopefully we will do it outdoor na, hindi na tayo mag sit down discussion but for now, I hope you love it and um, guys, keep on grinding for your dreams. See ya and bye-bye.